Right, so as you know already, I'm a YouTuber. I like to make videos on YouTube and I'm a narcissist, so I like to binge over my old videos. I like to rewatch my videos because I like the sound of my own voice and I like the look of my face. So I've made a few videos lately about black on black crime, um, you know, why black men fail and hypergamy, um, you know, why other black men see others as threats and I've kind of like been able to put two and two together now and the reason why a lot of black men yeah so back to the hypergamy video so if you haven't seen the hypergamy video I'll leave a link in the description below watch that one okay and then I made another video about you know why black men see other black men as threats and it's all to do with being alpha I mentioned in the alpha um, the hypergamy video that the reason why women um, only date the highest status black males is because obviously hypergamy kicks in and there's a range of different black males whereas in the white community I don't see there's a different range between men in terms of the vi how they look visually I just they, they to me they all look pretty much the same apart from the people who are like the Taui people and even then they're on TV so they have a status whereas I'm talking about the average Joes you see on the road you know, out of black men, there's a whole range of different black men, people that you will come across on the road. And with the white community, there's not much difference. Most of them are pretty much the same in terms of how they carry themselves, how much swagger they got. Now, I think the reason why a lot of black men want to war each other and, and they want to fight each other is simply because they want to display how uh, who, who is the most alpha out of the bunch. Because... As I mentioned in one of my previous videos, when I walk down the road, especially when I was younger, but even when I walk down the road now, if I see a white man when I'm walking down the road, I won't really pay him much mind subconsciously. But subconsciously, when I see another black man down the road, he could be driving a nice car or he could just be walking down the road and he's looking at me. I'll pay him more mind than I would a white person. Why this happens, I don't know. Obviously, I use the theory as the 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 primal uh, theory of you know when we were back in Africa anyone that we saw that we didn't recognize but looked similar to us could be a potential threat and I just think the reason why a lot of young black men will see each other and want to fight each other is simply because they want to display who is the most alpha out of the bunch because if you go back to school and I always love to use school as a good analogy because back in school no one had no money, right? Well, mo the school I went to, no one had any money, right? So you can't use, there was no success and there was no money as an influence. It was just basic charisma. Who was a somebody who wasn't? And the highest ranking males in that school were always known as the top boys, right? And if you ever went to a school like that, you can always acknowledge that in most of those mixed ethnicity schools, the highest ranking boys were usually the black guys. And usually... Pretty much most of them always got the nicest girls. If in if you remember in school, who were the girl who were the guys that the girls always spoke about? The guys that were always spoken about were always the guys who had a status. The guys who had no status, no girls gave them any play unless they were really, really good looking, no homo. So the guys that had the highest status in that year group always usually got the best looking women. And the guys in that year group always used to either bunch together because they were the alpha males or they would want to fight each other to kind of prove superiority because we used to do it. We used to always like to fight and do this thing called drapes in. Anyone who sees this video, no, no, <laughs> will we'll laugh because they know what I was like in school. But anyone who had a high status always wanted to stay on top no one ever wanted to be disrespect or anything and i just think the reason why a lot of young black guys when they see other black men on the street they want to try and prove who is more alpha or who is more superior because when i used to be out in a gang and we saw other gang members that we were not familiar with it was almost as if we wanted to try and prove who is more superior now if you're a black man and you are watching this right now and you think to yourself, when I walk down the road, I never even think twice about sizing up another black man or anything like that. It's probably because you are not an alpha male. And 
It's probably because you were not in that environment where you had to prove yourself to be um, to prove yourself to be an alpha because you was not an alpha male. Someone who is not an alpha male wouldn't need to prove themselves. Like you know, like they 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 just not they just they're not they have not been socially programmed. So anyone who's watching this who is a black person who thinks to themselves, oh, I've never had to, I've never thought in my mind, oh. Um, you know, sizing this person up. It's probably because you're not an alpha male. And ask yourself, were you the type of person in school who used to, who, who was spoken about by a lot of people? Were you, did you have a status in school? Did you have a lot of girls? Did a lot of girls fancy you? And if the answer is no, you probably was not ever a top boy or an alpha male or a bad boy. When I say a bad boy, I don't mean a criminal. I just mean someone with a bit of swag, you know, a bit of status. You probably was never one of those people. If you can acknowledge that you never had that kind of instinct to look at people and think or you know you you've never had that kind of instinct where you look at another black man and you think to yourself like i need to size him up subconsciously so if you like the video subscribe if you don't like the video change your station